According to Joe Tagmeyer, Tesla has built what are being referred to as master candidate Cybertrucks, which are ready to be evaluated for final production approval. In this video, I want to discuss the two master candidate Cybertrucks that Joe Tagmeyer uh, shared footage of, a bit about what Joe said about Cybertruck production timing, and how early Cybertruck reservations are potentially being locked in as we near first deliveries likely in October. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Joe Tegmeyer has been sharing drone video footage of Gigafactory Texas for over three years now, and recently he captured video footage of two Cybertrucks in the Gigafactory Texas parking lots. According to Joe, Tesla employees are now back to work at the factory after a break, which Tesla apparently used to make some changes to the Model Y production lines and likely to work more on the Cybertruck production lines. Really the big story here and really the key significance of these two spottings comes down to the fact that Joe was told that the two Cybertrucks he was able to capture on video were what is being referred to internally as master candidates, which are scheduled to be evaluated by the executive Tesla leadership team um, later on in the day on September 25th. And if all goes well and these Cybertruck candidates are approved by Tesla leadership, customer production of the truck could be happening very soon. In addition to the video footage that Joe Tegmeyer shared on YouTube, he also shared these four images on X.com. The first two images are of the master candidate Cybertrucks, and the second two images show that the employee parking area is full, meaning employees are back to work. In Joe Tegmeyer's video regarding Cybertruck production, he specifically said, quote, Production is very, very imminent now, probably going to be starting up later this week or next week. It appears like this timing is dependent once again um, to whether or not the master candidate Cybertrucks get approved by executives on September 25th. And if they do get approval, then of course, I believe production could actually start this week. This is really exciting to think that we could be that close to the first customer Cybertrucks being built. This also seems to line up nicely with the fact that, as I reported in a previous video that I shared, first Cybertruck deliveries should be happening in October, as was revealed in a Muddy Ruts YouTube video based on information from Tesla employees. The two Cybertruck master candidates that Joe Tegmeyer was able to share video footage of and the images that Joe shared on X.com show that these trucks are very finished and they look to be production ready. In addition to all that, it appears like some reservation holders may be getting a sign that um, their orders are now locked in and they should be getting some final configuration details soon. The Cybertruck guy on X.com posted this recently with this potential explanation of how the reservation screen is changing for some reservation holders. In this post, it's written, quote, here's how to see if your Cybertruck reservation has been allegedly chosen for configuration. Log into your Tesla account on the website, tap your Cybertruck order, tap manage order. You'll see one of two things. If you see you cannot edit design at this time, congrats, you've been allegedly chosen. If you see your specs, dual, triple motor, FSD, etc., your order won't be configurable yet. Orders in the 112 bracket all appear to be flipped to a configuration pending status. These are all day one reservations. Some orders in the early 113 bracket are also pending. Any day now, we should be getting the official date and time for the Cybertruck delivery event. Now, there are quite a few replies to this post from the Cybertruck guy, and some of them are mixed as to um, this being 100% the case. But enough people show a similar pattern in reply to this to make this a strong possibility. For example, Brandon Otterson posted in reply to this two images, one showing a 112 reservation, and the second showing a 113 reservation. And as you can see in both screenshots, it's written you cannot edit design at this time, but the 113 shows the single motor, rear wheel drive, full self-driving capability specifications, whereas the 112 order does not show that. 
So that appears to be the main differentiator. If you have no configuration there, no configuration details, and it says you cannot edit design at this time, apparently that's a good sign and it could potentially mean that you're able to lock in your order very soon and do the final configuration. But here's a post that could make this not be the case. Josh West 247 wrote in response to this quote, I have four on order, 112, 113, and 114. They are all uneditable. The Cybertruck guy replied to Josh West, quote, all orders are uneditable at this point. The difference appears to be whether or not the site shows your previously chosen spec. Josh West replied to that, yes, none of mine show any trim level or FSD choice. So whether or not these reservation screen changes are a good sign or they mean nothing at all, um, either way, it doesn't matter if that's a good sign or not. It is interesting to point out, but whether or not that's the case, it still appears like deliveries are imminent and very likely will be happening in October. The fact that master candidates could be approved um, on September 25th or shortly after if that first approval doesn't go well and they need to make a few changes. It looks like we're extremely close to uh, customer production actually happening. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.